Ideal, what do we have to do? Calculate the distance between the first and last pillars in centimeters without the width of the first and last pillar. Okay, let's have a look. First of all, the distance is actually given in meters instead of centimeters. So let's start converting that. Convert the distance from meters to centimeters. Distance is distance multiplied by a hundred. And from here, we have to work with a condition. If there's only one pillar, there's actually nothing to calculate. So if the number of pillars is less than one, just return zero. And else we have to multiply the number of pillars minus one, like this, with the distance. Let's say that you only have two pillars. Well, in that case, you have only one distance to calculate. If there are three pillars though, then there are two bodies of distance that you have to take into your calculation. And so I'll answer for it. And to conclude this, we have to add up the width of all the pillars, except the first and the last one. How to go about this, so we add up the width, multiply by the number of pillars, minus two, let's put this between parentheses, this as well. Of course, you have to start with the return statement, else will nothing happen. Let's save it and let's test it. Looks terrific. This one. Best. If you're really fanatic, you can probably rewrite this in one line of code like this. So let me comment that out. So what we can do is return, take this. And then we can work with conditions right here. If the number of pillars is more than one. Else zero. There we go. We get 20 now. Oh yeah, I see. The conversion is commented out. Uh, you can do the conversion right here as well. Let's put it between parentheses to be completely sure. And there we go. Let's test it out. Test. Terrific.